normally, uh, what happens is that uh, if there are 1,000 uh, voters, a good 20, 80% turnout is quite big already. So, there 20% na hindi buboto, na pwede iboto under the system. And uh, you were just telling us that uh, if the people there are not brilliant, brilliant enough, it can be done. Um, I was going to say, uh, there are certain scenarios here. First is the usage of fake ballots or photocopy ballots, usage of ballots that were already previously inserted into the machine, and third is probably the use of legitimate ballots. The first is that you cannot use photocopy ballots. Ballots that were inserted before cannot be inserted. Once it's scanned, that's it. It's not, it's not going to be read again. Now, the usage of legitimate ballots, it's limited. You cannot use ballots for other areas, but it's, that, it's to that precinct. Yeah, in that precinct. Yes. No, what I'm saying is that in that precinct. Um, in this situation, and uh, probably this is going to be <coughs> a major factor when it comes to national election, because you can imagine uh, someone trying to manipulate uh, 81,000 uh, precincts. But in a tight local election, it can be done. If there are only, let's say, for a mayoral divide, uh, there are about, let's say, 200 uh, precincts, maybe even less, and then they target uh, 10 or 20 precincts with proper inducement or whatever, then they can manipulate uh, the election that way. So the override system which you are recommending, Congressman, um, I will bring it up with the NBA and see what we can do to. We're still modifying this work. The, the well, problem with override is that it's an override the whole thing. <coughs> Even the legitimate uh, votes are not going to be counted. So again, uh, in a in a situation where it is expected that uh, the uh, election, that precinct is not favorable to someone who would want to manipulate the results, he can uh, manipulate it so that the precinct will be overly done and not counted. That is the problem there. I will bring this to the attention of the end of Congressman and uh, take remedial measures to address this concern. Uh, by the way, this, uh, I hope uh, uh, this is going to be a formal uh, notice uh, to the end of yes. coming from uh, this forum. It is. It is represented uh, by the minority in the House of Representatives. It is. Um, but again, but I'm concerned because uh, you just said that uh, this kind of manipulation is possible. It's because pareho lang ito eh. Nag-iba lang yung technology, pero ang tumpa rin yung the, 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 the human uh, intervention, intervening with the BEI there, with the water, because the, even once water is getting bought, uh, you, you know that uh, it can happen, uh, in fact, the water is getting bought. So, pwede siya magbulag-bulagan doon habang stuff in the machine with uh, 10 20 percent of the ballots there which can be very crucial so, you know people win elections by five percent six percent even one percent but more with uh, about 20 percent un unvoted uh, ballots that are going to be stuck using uh, this electronic system i will bring it up to the end of to the end of and check on the first thing we talked about thank you so much again and uh, Mr. Commissioner, as, uh, as this um, observation of uh, Congressman Rodriguez yes, has been provided as notice formally to the AMA, we will also be uh, officially and formally uh, notified of what really will be uh, 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 provided by the AMA with this uh, very uh, uh, real and, uh, and uh, alarming uh, scenario. We will, we will formally form the body. And may, may I mention that as compared to the 2008 elections in ARM, where I was part of, by the way, I was not a provincial supervisor of Basila, I was the county center manager of Isabella, which is, we counted all the ballots for the whole province except for the Mita. The, the modification here is that as compared to the ARM elections last year, where it, it was a centralized counting system, we now have the precinct counting system where um, there's less, there's less, it's less prone to 
um, you know, the members of the BIA are less prone to threats, intimidation, because the counting is done immediately after the voting. But I will bring it up with the NPA correspondent and inform you immediately on our, our action taken. Thank you, Commissioner. And that's uh, assuring, because if, as you say, we will have to rely on civil society to be more vigilant and to ensure that, that such a scenario doesn't happen. What if you have areas where there is no vigilant civil society? What if this happens in the province or in the rural area? So that would be a cause for major concern. And it might even be something that would cause uh, some kind of conflict no? in the area, especially when I come from Indonesia, I'm aware of how things are done and how people can be intimidated and how sectors or groups can uh, take action or matters into their own hands. So I suppose uh, this is uh, something that should really be discussed by the Commission. I, I give you my assurance that we will take this matter up seriously and uh, take appropriate measures. Because it's not an independent battle, it's not an independent element of intimidation or inducement. So it's going to be a lot simpler now. Because it's going to be a lot simpler now. It's even possible that one voter will have two ballots. It's not possible. Um, we instituted some, there are some measures instituted here, for example, the use of, again, a voter's disc with the picture and the mark of the voter. Um, the use of a, by the way, we don't have a watermark anymore in the ballot, we, but there are security measures, features. Um, the, the, Security measure that the ballot could be read only once, cannot be no copy. Uh, but there, we do not have answers for all scenarios, and this, this, this one is. To do that, that's why we were shocked uh, during the last uh, briefing we had between the committee on the side. But we were told that uh, there will be no need to for biometric uh, uh, registration. Yung mga, mga old registrants uh, don't need to go through the biometric process because that would have been a very good safeguard because if you have the thumb mark there, if the thumb mark is not registered in that precinct, then the, uh, if there's no thumb mark, then the machine is not going to read the ballot. Yung sana, ano po nagkaroon, kung magkaroon tayo ng general uh, registration.